So to make this electrolyte, I will use 30 milliliters of water. And into this 30 milliliters of water, I will add 8.4 grams of potassium hydroxide flakes. So the reaction is exothermic. For this reason, the beaker can get really, really hot. Okay, all the potassium hydroxide flakes are dissolved. And now I will use around 25 grams of fine zinc powder. This one. So the amounts which I use to make this electrolyte are just guessing. For this reason, you can experiment with different amounts. But I, like I said, I will use around 25 grams of zinc powder. Okay, 25.3 grams of zinc powder. Now I have this zinc powder in this potassium hydroxide electrolyte. And the problem with this right now is that all the zinc powder will go to the bottom. And for this reason, this kind of electrolyte I cannot use in some zinc air flow type of battery. Uh, because I want to have this electrolyte a little bit gelish like. And for this reason, I will put some small amount of some gelling agent, and the gelling agent will be this Xanthan gum. So I will put some small amount of this gum into this uh, electrolyte. Because if I add too much of this gum, then I will get too thick gel. zero point three five grams and I think that this will be okay Okay, this will be great. <laughs> 